Hi guys, Asaf here. We're taking a look at the Elias floor plans. If you haven't seen the video on the overview of Elias, you can find it in the description down below. This development offers a variety of floor plans that range from 465 square feet to 1,400 square feet suites. One bedroom plus one bath. This one bedroom, one bathroom apartment will be available from floors 13 to 40 on the east side of the building. It offers 465 square feet and is a very efficient in the use of space. When you enter the unit, the laundry area is stacked in the closet to the left with another closet for jackets and coats farther down the hall. Once you hang up your coat and put away your shoes, you are introduced to the kitchen. The kitchen has all the necessary appliances for cooking with plenty of space to dine afterwards. Moving forward, you have a large living area with windows to give plenty of natural sunlight. The unit then introduces you to its only washroom that is capped with a shower sink and a toilet. The bedroom is over here. Again, you have a great sunlight accessibility from the windows, a great space to feed a bed and some bedside tables with a spacious closet. This condo apartment is an example of a great way to maximize space with only so much to work with. It is a great floor plan with lots of potential for a great home. Penthouse, three bedrooms and two baths. This unit boasts a three bedroom and two bathrooms, making it the perfect for a family. This unit is found again on the east side of the building, but it's only available from the 42nd floor all the way up to the 45th floor. Homeowners enjoy 1,100 square feet of space indoor, as well as a 35 square feet balcony for barbecue and a nice sitting area. When entering this unit, you can first see to your left a full bathroom and to the right, the closet. Taking a left down the hall, you will be introduced to the first bedroom which is around 10 by 7 feet. Across the hall from the first bedroom you can see the laundry area which then leads to the primary bedroom. It's got a huge area with plenty of space looking to be around 14 by 10 feet and primary bedroom is then capped with another full bathroom and the massive closet. Moving back up the condo, straight past the entranceway, you can see the kitchen. The kitchen has a good amount of space to work with, with a wall dividing it from a den. Behind the kitchen, we have the living area. This living area has access natural light, which can be very nice when wanting a quiet and restful Sunday. Moving again up the hall, we have the dining area. To the right of the dining area, we can see the balcony. To the left of the dining room, we can see the den, which is a perfect size for an office. Unit 3A. This Unit 3A, I'm going to do something different since this condo is such a wild card. I'm going to have to present as such. Located in the north side of the building, 3A boasts 995 square feet and is available from floors 14 to 40. The reason I call this unit a wild card is because right off the bat, when we see three supporting columns, first in the kitchen, one in the living room, and one in the primary bedroom. Normally, this is a massive red flag because firstly, this unit is a three bedroom, which means at least three residents with 995 square feet would not be enough. Secondly, the format and the layout does not properly maximize the space with the long hallway from the entrance. And thirdly, there are three columns already in a small condo will feel even smaller. Although it all seems bad from the first impression, it's important to know that this unit's starting price is only 1.6 million for three bedrooms. This is unbelievable. Not to mention the abundance of natural light you will receive from the 13 windows is great. All those windows can help to open up the space for the condo, making it feel larger. Normally three columns apartments are a deal breaker, but within the support of the windows, making it feel a little bigger and the adjusted price, this unit would be a perfect fit for families or first time home buyers and investors who are looking to rent it out. Although it's not the best floor plan in the building, from an investor perspective, we need to see what is the return on your investment and how we can maximize the space to live comfortably. Please let me know if you have any questions regarding the Alias floor plans. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Share it with others, of course. And if you have any questions about floor plans, we have many more others that we couldn't cover in a short video. I'll be more than happy to help you and share with you all the necessary information. Take care and until next time.